In this video, I'll show you how to use the lattice objects in Blender. And the main purpose of the lattice objects is to distort a different object. So for example, I'll go to the add menu, I'll go to mesh, and I'm gonna add a monkey. I'll press control three to add a subdivision surface with three levels, and I will apply the modifier and shade the object smooth. So we're gonna distort this object. So I'll now go to the add menu, and I'm gonna add this lattice object right here. And I'm gonna scale the lattice object up and make it bigger than the monkey head by just a little bit. So if we want the lattice modifier to distort the other object, we need to select the object. We need to click on add modifier and we need to search for the lattice modifier. And then we need to choose the lattice in our scene. So we're gonna click on the eyedropper and choose the lattice. Now, if I select the lattice in object mode and move it around, you can see it isn't actually distorting the monkey head. If I hit the tab key to go into edit mode, the lattice objects have an object mode and an edit mode. So in edit mode of the lattice, I can select the points and I can move them. And you can see that they're going to smooth distort the object and I can also select multiple ones and I can scale them and I can rotate them and I can move them around now you can actually make the lattice more detailed by clicking here on the lattice data settings and there's going to be the resolution for the X Y and Z axis so I can turn these up I might turn them up to like a four and now if I move this around you can see it's more detailed so this point here is only moving around the corner of the monkey but if I select more points let me just select this entire corner now I can move this around and it's just moving this corner of the monkey now you can also hit the the O key to turn on the proportional editing. Then you can select a point and you can move it and then you can scroll out your mouse wheel and that's gonna change the size of the proportional editing. And now I can move around parts of the lattice that are nearby. So I'm just gonna deform this monkey head by bringing up the top a little bit. And then also I might select this here and this over here and I might scale these up to kind of bring the ears out. So now if I go back to object mode, I can move the lattice in object mode. And now that we've distorted the lattice, it's actually going to affect the monkey. So I could scale this and I could rotate it and I can move it and it's going to affect the monkey shape. And then after you deform the other object, if you want to hide the lattice, you can just hit the H key to hide it. And now you can just see the distorted monkey. And you can also move the monkey in object mode. And you can see that it's going to be distorted when it's moving through the shape of where the lattice is. Now this is still just a lattice modifier and so if I go into edit mode of the monkey, you can see the monkey is back to its default pose. So if I wanted to apply this, you'll just select the monkey, click on the drop down, and click on apply, and now the actual geometry has been affected. Or if for some reason you don't want it, you can just simply delete the object here in the lattice, or you can just delete the lattice modifier. Now another cool thing about the lattice modifier is it has a strength value. So let me just select the lattice and hide it. I'll select the monkey head. And now there's a strength value that you can change. And you can actually animate this value if you wanted to. So you could hover your mouse over this value, press the I key to add a keyframe. Then here in the timeline, you could move to a different spot in the animation. You could turn the strength up and press the I key, go a little bit farther into the animation and turn the strength down. And with your mouse over the strength value, hit the I key to add a keyframe. And so now if you play through this with the timeline, Line, you can see it's actually being animated. Now let's say you just want a certain part of the monkey to be affected. Well, what I can do is use the vertex group. So I'll press Alt H to unhide everything. I'm gonna select the monkey head and I'll go into edit mode and I'm gonna go into wireframe. I'll deselect everything and I'll press the C for the circle select and I can scroll my mouse wheel and then I can click and drag and I can just select the part of the monkey that I wanna be affected. So press the C for the circle select, all right, and then hit the escape key to get rid of it. And then what I can do is go here to the object data properties. I can go to the vertex groups and since I have the monkey's ears selected, I'll click on the plus to add a new vertex group. I'll click on the assign button. So now that's assigned to a vertex group. So if I go back to the modifiers and go back to object mode here on the vertex group I can choose the group and now if I view the lattice modifier affecting the object you can see just the ears are moving because they're a part of the vertex group now if you select the lattice and then go here to the lattice data properties there's going to be this interpolation mode here now the default is B spline and B spline is going to be a smooth transition so you can see if I select these points and move them around and also rotate them you can see that the monkey head is very smoothly rotating around However, if I change all these values to linear, it's going to be a linear interpolation. So now you can see that right here, it gets really sharp. And then right over here, as the lattice 
curves over here, the monkey head is really sharp. So you can see it right here, it's really sharp because it's been set to linear. Now you can also add shape keys to the lattice points and then animate those shape keys. So select the lattice and you can click here to go to the object data properties and you can open up the shape keys. So here's the shape keys. You can add a plus here to add the basis key. And then you can click on the plus again to add a new key. So I can now go into edit mode and I can select some of these points and move them around. So maybe I'll bring some of these points down to bring the monkey head down, maybe bring his nose out a bit, and I can also bring the ears out a bit. So I can now go back to object mode and I'll just select the lattice and hide it so I can see the monkey. But now I can take this value here and I can animate this. And so this is a shape key going between the lattice's default pose and pose one. And if I unhide this, you can see that it's being moved and I could also animate this shape key if I wanted to. So here on the timeline, hover my mouse over the value and press the I key to add a keyframe and then I can move my playhead turn the value to one, add another keyframe, and then I can move the playhead even farther, turn the value back to zero and add another keyframe. And now if I play through this, you can see the lattice is being animated using that shape key. So that's the basics of how to use the lattice modifier in Blender. And it's a very useful modifier for deforming and warping the shape of other objects. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn more Blender quick tips, then definitely check out my Blender quick tips tutorial playlist. The link to that is in the description and also right up there on the end screen. And if you'd like to help support me and this channel, as well as get access to lots of Blender content, then checking out my Gumroad store and Patreon page is a great way to do that. But I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.